Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going shopping and we're shopping at Target. I want to see if they put out any of their Halloween decor because I think they're starting to put that out. I want to take a look around and see what's new. You guys seem to love these Target videos, so I have been making them a little bit more often. Probably could see them about once a month or so, but I think I might have another one up in two weeks or so once they put out the full Halloween range. But yeah, let's go check it out and see what we can find. Okay, so they're starting to put some Halloween stuff here in the Bullseye's Playground area. I know there's some cute ghost pillows people are finding, but they are probably gone by now. I might check another store. But they do have this little cat and moon pillow for five dollars they have some like spooky tree decor these candelabra things with the skulls and these are kind of cool little cages with these bats on them they have these candles too they're little one white candles this is the white snake root so they're kind of spooky in a way they look like little potions they're three dollars each they also have this one which is the stinging nettle and this is the deadly nightshade some more random stuff a ghost projector here's another little pillow with a skeleton we got some more pumpkins these light up i think i think they do oh this is cool this little skull i think it's just a jar i thought it was a cup but i don't think it has a straw and then this pumpkin is super cute with the spider webs on it these are glass and then they have these little plastic candle melting candle things so just a few things over here not like a lot all of these other little pumpkins i think i shared in my last target video which honestly wasn't that long ago it was just a few weeks ago with a bunch of fall things looks like they are starting to set up some more fall things over here let's see we got some vanilla pumpkin set of four votive candles by threshold for 10 bucks these are cute i think these are the ones that you put in the little wax warmers little pumpkins they also have the warm cider and cinnamon some little decorative pumpkins too ten dollars kind of a lot for just like a woven one here's a few more over on this table we got some little baskets and just a bunch of different decorative pumpkins. This one kind of has like almost a spray painted look. All different sizes. They don't have the prices on these. Oh, do they? But yeah, 15 for the big ones. And $5 for the little ones. Here's some more of the woven pumpkins. Some different sizes. This must be a big trend this year. They have just teeny tiny ones. And then these over here. There's like some cute like fall blankets and pillows they have from Threshold. These are nice like super soft throws. I love the brown one. They have a really pretty orange and this olive green. And some different pillows to kind of go with the fall tones. Some more over here. They have these huge green pillows. These fuzzy green throws as well. And there's one that's more of like a pattern. It has I think pumpkins, leaves on it. Some more candles, vanilla pumpkin. Mm, that does actually smell very good. That was the same one as earlier, but this one's like a single wick for $5. It looks like they're coming out with big ones too. Because here's the warm cider and cinnamon. I think they're just starting to put stuff out. But I like that vanilla pumpkin a lot. I'm over in the hearth and hand section. And I just found some fun pillows. Not the ghost ones, but they do have this cute little happy Halloween one with the ghost on it. And I love these little pumpkin pillows from Threshold. These are so cute, the knitted ones. These are 25. Adorable. These are just little ball ones. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't really care for those. Um, they have these spider ones. And then they have the boo one as well. So a couple of fun Halloween things. And I see a couple more things over there. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Here's their small little Halloween section so far that they have. So they have this like serving or cutting board that looks like a coffin. Kind of cool. This is 20 these little pumpkin bourbon mini candles four ounce candles for five dollars really cute though oh these are so fun they have these witch's cauldron candles this is firewood and patchouli it actually does smell very spooky it smells like a forest that patchouli is strong 
but I think that's so cool that they did a cauldron and they also have a skull one as well which is the same scent so that must be their Halloween signature scent but that is so cool I'm very tempted to get one it's 20 bucks the skull looks big how big is this 38 ounces for 25 very cool they have these little pumpkin shaped glasses they're plastic it's three dollars and then th these like serving pumpkin bowls with the ladle as well and here's some more decorative glass pumpkins these are very cool they have like this smoked glass oh you could put maybe a candle in there let's see it's twenty dollars for the big one they have the medium size and a small size as well and then over on this side we have this little candy bowl. It's like a cauldron with a spider on the bottom for $10. And then this just skull. You could put stuff in there. They have the small one and the big one. And then I love this little ghost picture. This is so cool. This is... I can't find the price on this one, but I feel like that one is going to go so fast because it's just such a unique piece. And it feels like heavy and expensive. But yeah, I don't know how much it is but I love it. And then they have these cute little ice trays, pumpkin ice. You can make some really fun drinks if you have a Halloween party. And then the skull as well. How cool is that? Okay, now over here, we have some fun like dishes. I love these ghost dishes. It's an appetizer plate. And then this is just a bite. And then just some random stuff up here. We got some snakes too. <laughs> I know Beth and Byers did a lot of snake stuff. We got a snake. I guess you put candles in the mouth of them. I don't know. And then this like tarantula one as well. And then a random mushroom. <laughs> which I feel doesn't like fit the theme as well. And then like on the very bottom they have like this haunted house thing. I don't know. I think it does something. And this humongous cauldron down here too. And then this cute little wreath. So... Just a little Halloween preview. Just wanted to check it out and see what they all had so far. But I think my favorite thing, I really like that coffin cutting board. And I love this cauldron candle. Just notice as well that they have that same pumpkin pillow in the green as well. Plus a lot of other fun green things. I like this kind of suede one a lot. So I wonder if that's all of it. I wonder if that's all the Halloween they have so far. I'm definitely going to look around and see. Here's some more suede pillows. This is a cute little candle set. It has a pumpkin spice, pumpkin bourbon, and pumpkin woods. All the pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, some of this stuff just does not have the prices yet because they just put it out. Around the corner, I spotted some mugs. Look at all these. Oh, so cute. They have some good ones this year, and these always go fast. I remember looking for the ghost ones forever last year, but we're a little early now. So this is the hide and eek line. They have this adorable little pumpkin mug. These should all be $5. They have the mummy. They had very similar ones last year. They have this little ghost, so, so cute. There's this skull. I like this one too, a bunch of different ghosts with spooky vibes inside. And then we got hey boo. Down here there's the black cat with a little pumpkin. And they have a witch please, so many, oh my goodness. And this little cauldron one with the spider web. This one's cute too, pumpkin spice season with a little pumpkin inside. We got the plain, <laughs> just cream pumpkin. We have a trick or treat. And then all these little jack-o'-lanterns with happy Halloween. I think that's everything, that's so many, but they have so many cute ones. They started setting up the Halloween candy aisle and they should be replacing all the back to school stuff with Halloween very soon, but they're just putting out some fun candies, like little gummy eyeballs. I did see they're putting out these doormats too. They're still in plastic, but look at this cute little ghost one. I love it. It says, hey boo. I think they had one similar last year, but these are so cute. And then the pumpkin one. I love seeing the different limited edition ones they have, but I think a lot of it is repeats, like these Franken cups for Reese's peanut butter cups we saw last year. They have green Snickers with the green marshmallow nougat. These are cute. Kershey's cookies and cream fangs. They have little fangs on them. Those are so good. Now what are these? These Kit Kats. Oh, I think they did have these last year. The Breaking Bones. The White Cream Kit Kats. I'm pretty sure they did have those. And then they did bring back 
the Witch's Brew ones too. I don't know if I tried these, but I think they're just different colored and the same taste. Oh my goodness, they have Harry Potter kisses this year, which have different sayings on them. They're just the regular milk chocolate, but I thought that was kind of cool. So something kind of new. I wish they had a fun, different flavor though. I don't know if I've seen these before, Campfire S'mores m and I don't know, it sounds kind of new to me. And they have some fun baking stuff over here. I do like these little dishes. These little storage containers, these are cute. Love the ghosts. But yeah, I think that's mostly it for Halloween things. Oh look, they have a little bat spatula. And some cookie cutouts, but yeah. I think that's it for Halloween. They have some fall room spray stuff from Glade with their limited scents. They have an autumn spice to apple. This Febreze Fig and Plum looks good. They have the Miss Myers candles too. I think they always come out with the acorn spice. They also have apple cider. I like the mum one. I think that one's a nice floral. There's more of these Glade scents down here. So some more of their fall line. Let's see. We have Twinkling Pine and Cedar, Fall Night Long, Starlight and Snowflake, so already getting into the Christmas ones. Cozy Vanilla Cappuccino, and then I already went over that one. And then Crisp Cranberry Champagne. And here they have all the fall Miss Myers like cleaning products too, the dish soap, the hand soap, and then the multi-surface spray. I should grab one of these, because I'm almost out of mine. This one here smells like fall in a bottle, so I'm gonna get the acorn spice. Did you guys see this new creamer? I kinda wanna try it from Califia. It's Caramel Apple Crumble Oat Creamer. I kinda wanna get this. I've been making my own coffee at our campsite. We've been camping like every weekend, so. I'm gonna try this one because it sounds delicious. I also love the favorite day whipped creams. They always come out with some different holiday ones or seasonal I should say. But now they have a whipped oat one too. So this one's with oat milk, the pumpkin spice. They do have the regular pumpkin spice as well. So I thought that was kind of cool. I might have to grab that. People do this, I think they did it last year too, but when they stick these sugar cookies in like chocolate chip cookies and bake them, it's supposed to be pretty good. I kind of want to do that. They also have pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. That sounds delicious. I know I usually get the Trader Joe's ones whenever they roll out with their fall stuff, but I've always wanted to make those cookies with this. And then I think you just buy like these and just stick them in. Also, I didn't show you, but I did get a Starbucks drink, one of the fall ones. I just got a white chocolate mocha and then added the pumpkin cold foam. And I think that's kind of my favorite. This is my go-to for fall because I love the white chocolate so much and I just like a little bit of pumpkin. All right, look what we have here. Finally, Target got the new Tree Hut scrubs in from like their coffee shop collection or bake shop collection. I'm not sure what it is, but they have an exclusive one, which is the Cinnamon Dolce, which has ginger extract, sugar cane, and shea butter. It comes in the shower gel and the scrub, which is very exciting. I'll have to smell this and see if I like it, but they also got the redone tropical mango. Beautiful packaging which they had this one before. I think they just repackaged. They got the pumpkin spice one as well. And then the coffee and the cream, but I don't see the apple, so I don't know if maybe they didn't get that one, but so excited to find this one. So this will be a Target exclusive. Okay, this does smell so good, you guys. I'm gonna grab both the shower gel and the scrub. It smells like literally fried cinnamon dough, like so edible. Honestly, one of their best scents in my opinion, so totally picking these up. And I definitely recommend it because it smells so good and so strong. I shared some of the Bobble Bar Halloween jewelry last time, but they have some cute like clips and jewelry, I think just from Target brand as well. Like this fun sparkly clip. So fun for fall. They have like a spiderweb one as well and some different bows and headbands. And for clothes, they have some really nice like knit sweaters here from Universal Thread. I love the colors of these, just a nice chunky sweater. For 25, they have a cream, the black, and then this fun green as well. It seems like the cream one's really selling pretty fast. They have these jackets, which look so cute from the front, but they actually have like a graphic on the back. This is like a Ford Bronco one. I don't know, I feel like it's so much cuter without that graphic. These are $34.99. And then I'm sure this one has one too. This, is the, this might be the Barbie one I saw. Yep, it's the Barbie. See, wouldn't this be cute without that? 
because the colors are so fun. Now here they have some actually really cute plaids. They don't have a graphic on them, but they have this color, which is like neutrals, the blacks and creams. These are 28. They have this color, and they have this purple one, which is super cute. These universal thread sweaters are actually super soft. They look a little bit on the cropped side, but I love the material. These are 25, and this bright, it's like a bright chartreuse yellow, is so fun. I always love the Knox Rose brand, and they have some cute dresses for fall for $35, like this plaid one. I like this green one a lot, this is very pretty. We got the leopard print and then a floral. And then they have these very long duster cardigans back there too. Ooh, these are so cute too. They have these chunky cardigans from them. This leopard one is really fun and super soft. These are super cute, these little leather dresses. It'd be so cute to pair like a long sleeve fitted top under these. These are $35 each from Wild Fable. But I see the leather is gonna be a big trend this year as well. Check out these little shackets too. Oh, these are nice. I really like this taupe. I might actually pick that up. That's really cute. Let's see. It's 28. It looks like a lot of them sold already. Because I like these colors too. The green is super pretty. But yeah, I might grab that in the XL to try. Also, the cropped cardigans seem to be very big this year too. I, just, I don't know if I love it. The pink is such a pretty color though. But I've seen them pretty much everywhere. These are 28. This is a really pretty blue. But yeah, let me know if you guys like the cropped cardigan trend. I just don't always love cropped things on me. I did see they have a little Halloween clothing section with some different graphics. They have this fun Goosebumps sweatshirt for $21.99. I love the lime green on this one. I remember when they had a show of this and it used to scare me so bad as a kid. They also have this cute hot pink jacket in a Sally sweatshirt. They have a Beetlejuice tee here. There's the It Clown. It looks like we have Chucky and Tiff. And then this really cute Hocus Pocus one. That one's probably my favorite. Are they supposed to be doing another movie this year? I feel like I heard somewhere that they are, but I'm not sure. So I was quite shocked with all the new stuff they had. They had so many cute clothes, a few Halloween decorations, and I did pick up a few things. So since it is September 1st, I wanted to grab a new cardigan. I did feature these, I think, in my last video. And it's just this really super soft cream cardigan. I thought this would just go with so many different things. It's from the Universal Threadline. I think Target does these like every year. So I picked out the cream color. It was 30 bucks. Here is kind of how it looks like on. But but very cute comfy so I decided to pick that up just to throw on in the fall also grabbed the corduroy little shacket that you guys saw I need to twist up these sleeves they had it in a few colors but I grabbed this like tan color but I pretty much live in shackets in the fall season. And the last thing I picked up was the new Tree Hut, the Cinnamon Dolce line. I have a feeling they might send this over in PR since it is a new scent for them, but I wanted to grab this. They only had a couple of the shower gel left, but it smells so good. It's super edible, sugary, and sweet. For my gourmand lovers, you have to try this one. I think it's online too, so I'll have it linked in the shopping section here, as well as in the description box, but this might be my favorite fall scent from them yet it is delicious so that's what i got so far at target i didn't buy any halloween decorations quite yet but i think in the next video i might see what else they have oh i also bought that apple coffee creamer too it's in my fridge haven't tried that yet but i will this weekend i'll have to let you guys know how it is it may do like a fun vlog next week we'll see but yeah i wanted to share this video with you guys so i could show you what's new at target and i'll see you in my next one bye guys